What is this? This is a dog with his mouth open and he's been anesthetized. And if you look down in there, you can see there's uh, the, this is a tonsil right here. It's a bulge on the side of the throat. And you can kind of see, hopefully you can see up in there, you can see a little tonsil poking out of the, the, the crypt that it's in. And then here's the other tonsil over on the other side. That one's pretty easy to see. So that's one tonsil there. And there's the other tonsil there. Okay, there's a shot of the windpipe. So if I, I move the, the epiglottis down, which is this thing, that's what protects your windpipe when you swallow, you can see the windpipe down there. See it? You see that right down at the bottom are the vocal folds. You can see him moving a little bit. So when he breathes, see him move. So when I move that down, you can see the the the, the larynx and the folds of the throat. Let's see if I can make him irritate him so he breathes. Well, I thought you'd enjoy seeing the tonsils uh, because that was a good shot of them and uh, they're very swollen and they can be that way due to kennel cough, which is a whooping cough in humans and in dogs, it's spread from dogs to, to dogs through contact. You can get it at dog parks and kennels and veterinary hospitals and other places where dogs con congregate. It's not a critical disease, but it can cause severe coughing and for older dogs it might be a problem because they don't have as much reserve but it can go away on its own or it may, might need antibiotics to get it under control. Allergies um, the kind of things that cause the reverse sneezing and I have video on that on for cats I think or maybe even dogs the one kind of where they go <laughs> and it looks like they're going to pass out but that's just reverse sneezing and that responds to Benadryl and you can give a, like I said in the video, you can give a one to two milligrams per pound two or three times a day and that will help with uh, symptoms of hay fever which is reverse sneezing, coughing, runny eyes and actually even ear, ear inflammation. Older dogs like labs and chest peaks and will get their, their throat will become paralyzed and they can't uh, open it up as much and they will cough and gag and that's another thing that will cause coughing and gag gagging so kennel cough allergies and older dogs will get heart failure that will cause coughing also check out my uh, website dog dish diet I just came out with the second edition that's updated it's now available as a Kindle and I'm really interested in, in spreading the words that dogs can eat different things not just dog food um, healthy non-processed food that's healthy for us is also healthy for dogs and also less preserved food so if you want your dog to get the benefit of eating you can even add uh, different healthy foods to their dog food and just to make sure they get the antioxidants they need and different vitamins and uh, the things of, of available in carrots and sardines and chicken and all the things that you can feed dogs. Anyway, well, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed looking down the throat. <laughs> Take care.